Welcome back to the Let Chomp Pit, guys. Thank you for tuning in. We have it posted in a little bit. Uh, just been a little bit busy. Got to make sure the food all comes out. Today, we got a very exciting day. We're cooking lumpia, sabuchan, and pancit bihon. We just got the Let Chomp Pit started. You know, it takes about one hour for the charcoal to be ready to cook on. Also takes about 20 pounds worth of charcoal. That's about 10 to $12 right now. We use El Diablo charcoal. This is a local company. Uh, the charcoal is from Mexico, but the distribution and owner of the company is based in Phoenix. They really take care of us, guys. So let's go into the kitchen and get the sabuchon ready. All of the meats that we roast on our lechon pit from the lechon bad boy to the sabuchon and the lechon manuk are seasoned very heavily with lemongrass, garlic, and bay leaves. We use chopped garlic as well as pressed garlic. We roast the meat for hours and hours. We like some bigger pieces of the garlic to really make sure it's infused with the flavor. That's the lemongrass, pretty good. All that lemon flavor out of there. Next up are green onions, also known as scallions. Next we're going to score the pork belly. This helps the salt and all the seasons to really penetrate deep into the meat. This is about a 10 and a half pound slab skin on, of course. Come back across. A little bit of salt and pepper. We grind our own pepper in house, really keeps it fresh, makes a big difference. We rub everything in, make sure you get it in all the slits that we cut in there. You really want the seasoning to get deep into the meat. Followed up by fresh sage. You know, Sobrano food doesn't have a lot of herbs in it, but sage is one that is used. And bay leaves. If you don't use bay leaves, guys, it's not Filipino. It's one of the major seasonings of Filipino cuisine. We now have the lemongrass and green onions on the sabuchon. Then I come in with the crushed garlic and some fresh peppercorn. All right, that takes care of the seasoning. Now time to grab the spit rod and tie it up. Got the spit rod down. Now it's time to tie it up. It's gonna be kind of hard to show you tying it up as I'm videotaping everything myself, but I'm gonna try my best. All right, we're gonna take it, loop it around. Take the string, make a loop with it, and pull the cord string through the loop. Then we pull up top and make it tight. There we go. Alright, we got it all tied up. Next up is to get the spit forks put on it. Finally got the Cebu Chong cooking, guys. There's always a little bit of rush to get it down. Let's check it out. We're about one hour into the cooking process. You can see the skin starting to transform into that golden red crispiness. Ooh, look at that smoke, guys. The charcoal really makes a big difference when cooking Filipino food.
cars hand rolled to perfection, guys. Fresh as lumpias in town. We've never served a frozen lumpia in our life. Almost done. We're four hours into the cooking process of looking ooh goo and super crispy. Let's took it off. Let's do a little crispy test. Oh yeah, guys. We're heading out to get Phil up his food. Unfortunately, we went to the wrong address. We need to update our website. Feel a little bit bad about it. Uh, a little bit bad customer service there. Right, that's gonna wrap up the day, guys. Seemed to be okay with the mishap about the address. This is Wyatt's birthday today that they're celebrating. So thanks for tuning in. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Leave a comment and stuff. We're trying to get more views on YouTube so we can continue doing this. Out.